I'm a seven-year-old on a British beach holiday when torrential weather forces me to take shelter in a television store where I watch two shows simultaneously. The undersea world of Jacques Cousteau and a news report on mime artist Marcel Marceau performing for Jimmy Carter. I decide that I should become a marine biologist mime as a route to becoming drier and more influential. I'm an 18-year-old. In the arts section of the newspaper, I see a photo of a performance by the world's top mask theatre company. I decide to seek out and learn from their founder. Before long, I'm touring across the globe with the company. I'm 33 years old and giving the physical performance of a lifetime. But the four days I spend running naked across a football pitch, filming a Nike Super Bowl ad, brings me to a stark realization. This kind of exposure is not achieving me the international influence I desired 26 years ago. I'm 39. The phone rings. A New York publisher wants a new book on body language, and they think I'm the expert to write it. Winning body language becomes an instant bestseller. I'm 42. It dawns on me that what the majority of my clients really want is help dealing with people that are making their working lives a nightmare. I decide to create the manual on how to use our primitive neural architecture to manage our most impulsive behaviors. How many of these life-changing decisions have been a conscious choice and how many have simply been a knee-jerk reaction to my environment? As a hero of mine, the naturalist Charles Darwin once said, it's not the strongest or the most intelligent of the species that survive, but the most adaptable to change.